Hello, my name is Sammy Jiu and 21st Century Moses channel. This is verse by verse daily Bible study with a big question. Today's big question is, how does sin start? The Bible says everyone is a sinner. Since we are so used to sin, we don't even think how it all starts. Let's study Ephesians 5-6 and find out answers to the question. Let's read Ephesians 5, 6. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Now let's look at the word deceive. In Greek is apatao, it means using tactics like seduction. Now we're going to look at this seduction uh, in a few minutes, but let's go back to this verse again. Let no one deceive you. Let no one seduce you in other words with empty words with words do not have any value because for because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience so this is not just deceiving people and that's about it but there is a clear consequence which is the wrath of God comes upon them now let's look at this verse in light of other verses. Let's see how this deception happened. Ephesians 4.22, it says that in reference to your former manner of life, you lay aside the old self, which is being corrupted in accordance with the lust of deceit. So we see that the lust and deceits are uh, intertwined, and this corrupts everything. So we can see the deceit is really leading to the lust. And also, let's look at the other verse. James 1.14 says, When the lust has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And when sin is accomplished, it brings forth death. We see that the chain reaction here. The lust conceives and it gives birth to what? Sin. Here we go. And it, get, it brings forth to death. Wow. You see the, the sequence here? Deceit, lust, sin, and death. And this is uh, exactly what happened in Genesis 3. Because Satan deceived, right? Satan, let's say this is a snake. Satan deceived Eve and Adam. And then uh, when Eve looked at the, the tree of knowledge of evil, it looks so good. So they ate it with the lust. But what happened? They sinned against God. Right? And then what happened? They die. So they're not, they became a mortal being that they should die because of all these things. And it all starts with deceit. So we have to be very careful. Hebrews 13 Chapter 13, 9, it says, Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teaching. Strange teaching. In other words, false teaching. Deception. For it is good for the heart to be strengthened by the grace, not by foods of no value to those devoted to them. So we need to live by the grace of God, the truth. But if we are deceived by strange teaching, what happened? This all things happen. Deceit, lust, sin, and death. So the lesson is, who is God? God is the truth. And we need to live, stand by in Him. Who is the world? The worldly mind deceives people to sin. Who is the church? Church stands in the truth. So the application is, beware of deception in the world. The world is being deceived. We have to know about this. And do not uh, stop, stop there. Stay away from false teaching this false teaching is emphasizing on prosperity and all the wealth and it sounds very good but they don't have any christ in it and the thirdly stand in the gospel truth that jesus christ who came down to the earth to die for our sins so it's not us but it's christ who has done the sacrificial work on the cross to forgive our sins and he rose from the dead to give us eternal life so only Christ is the only way to be forgiven so we need to come to Jesus Christ stay away from false teaching and stand in this truth
Friends, we need to turn away from this deception. We need Christ. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the truth. Jesus Christ is the truth. We pray that the truth will set us free. So please let us come to the truth. Help us and guide us, Lord. We thank you, praise you. In Jesus' holy name, I prayed. Amen.